This is just a quick test to see how the uh, LED strobe survives the video uh, compression, uploading, translation, and all the rest of that. So uh, what I've done is I've got the uh, inverted and non-inverted outputs from the TLO82 dual out amp, or TLO82. Uh, going to this double pull, double throw switch, which then goes to the 4017 decade counter. So when I flip the switch, I can either select the start of the pulse or the end of the pulse. The, the uh, rotor is rotating counterclockwise now because I wanted to be able to show the action in this quadrant. So there's where the pulse ends, right about top dead center, and there's where the pulse starts. So that's the conduction angle from there to there. And by varying the set point pot, I can, I'm varying the duty cycle, of course. So the start point changes right at 50%. It's kind of tricky because the, the, uh, the slope of the signal coming from the sense coil is almost flat at 50%. Uh, let's see, that's about where the optimum is. Now, to my eye, the strobe is very steady. The uh, blinking and flickering you're seeing here is an artifact of the frame rate of the camera. Uh, and uh, let's see, oh yeah, so by varying the set point control, I vary the, uh, the duty cycle by varying the start point. The end point doesn't vary very much. I'm turning the set point control by the same amount now and you can see that it hardly changes at all. The start point though changes quite a bit with that much. Okay, now the timing, let's go back to the end of the pulse there. The timing is now controlled by the position of the sense coil and I've made a little uh, reference mark there so that I can tell where it is. So, uh, you can see that the strobe follows the position of the sense coil exactly. And if I set it right back where it's supposed to be right there, and reset the start point back to where it's supposed to be, right there, then I get the accelerating rotor once again. And the silly thing is so quiet you can't really tell that it's, uh, that it's turning, so remember when we used to put playing cards in our bicycle wheels? And of course that drags it down. There's uh, an optimum setting of the timing and pulse duration for uh, maximum RPM. And just like with an internal combustion engine, that's a little bit different from the setting for maximum torque uh, under load. Okay, so that's a demonstration of the two LED strobes that show the turn off and the turn on of the signal to the MOSFET pulsing the coil. Thank you for watching.